<clears throat> All right, today, spoken thought, spiritual enlightenment. And what I want to coach any of you today is more or less <clears throat> the story of man and his lost journey. But in order to understand the journey of a man, you got to understand where he comes from. And um, in order to do that, we're in, where he comes from is a descending spirit, angel from heaven. <clears throat> and what he has to do is live out the manifestation of a male child. He's gonna become a boy, he's gonna become a man. And if he stays a man, not understanding what's greater than a man as a gentleman, he's lost. You, you have to practice being a gentleman so you can get it right in front of Jesus. That's why we're on earth, to live our manifestation fully. You cannot become an angel if you never lived out being a gentleman. You can't skip a stage. <clears throat> so a man is stuck in his cocoon. And the cocoon takes in the elements of life. Everything that's going through, the trials, the tribulations, the, the winter, the summer. Understand that's growing. Don't, don't ever commit to something that's learning itself. The things that it learns as a man, it could not learn as a boy, but it's still learning. And I, the biggest fear that I see is so many men are stuck in their man cocoon. I have been every type of man that's possible. Every woman brought out a different man to me. Every situation, every trials, everything I went through caused me to go to choose. You have to choose to be a gentleman. Because you got to give up on knowing that a man is a worthless creature. Immature, doesn't pit the mental and emotion before the physical. The only things on the physical level, materialistically, how big his house, how fast his car, how nice his car, how much money he got in his bank. That's materialistic, that's physical, in which we are responsible for that. We are responsible for that. But it's so much more, it's so much more than the physical. That's the least important. God will never see our physical flesh. And don't let your, your physical sin on your your emotions and your, your living emotions is your soul. The soul will carry sins of the flesh, but the soul protects your, your spirit. And that's what God and Jesus knows. They know your spirit. You, what is your spirit name? For a male, it's the angel. Not, not, not a, a human name, your celestial name. And until we admit to that within ourselves, within ourselves, listen to the message. This is the story of a man, the lost journey. We are lost. We're not living life like it's supposed to be. Everything we do in life is part of our, our apprenticeship so we can take back to heaven and apply it in heaven to show Jesus and God that we have something to offer of ourselves. We all learn differently. We are all here for a different reason. The way you see things is the way Jesus and God want you to see things. And at first, Jesus picked out your trials and tribulations. Not God. God blessed them and gave them to you. But he asked Jesus, what does this child need to make it back to heaven's guide? We have the spirit of God. We are embedded with that. That's, that's what gives us life, the spirit of God. But we have to entrust God and believe when that time comes and we stand in front of his son that gave his life for us. We can't speak God, ask to talk to God unless we earn his way through Jesus. You're not going to let somebody run up on your mother and father. Understand the chain of command. You feel it. It's nothing I need to say. You know it. Just admit to it and submit to it. And when you submit to it, you're not submitting. You're submitting to something greater than yourself. And the first practice that is the goddess on earth. And that is a female. She is closer to God than anything a mother, I mean a father or a man can get. She spent eight to nine, she spent nine to ten months with God when she becomes that mother. Before that child is even born, she's having a relationship. 
Teach her to believe in that and look up to her and serve her as you would serve God. We are lost. We know everything about animals and all this and everything else and Superman, Power Man, you know, all, all the day. Wonder Woman, Super Woman. Do we know anything about a lady and a gentleman and a difference? The definition, the creature that only will be able to approach heaven's gates. For me to live out my true manifestation, I have to give up the man in me and choose to be a gentleman and practice being a gentleman here now. Now. Jesus is paying attention. Big brother, he keeps the eye on us day and night. My mission, my goal as an angel is to deliver a message. I don't know what that message is, but take the time and listen to it. And whatever you sense from it, that's not me speaking to you. That's Jesus and God. If it, you got to choose to listen, because you got a lot of stuff going inside heaven, you got to keep it on. He gave responsibility to his son, Jesus. Stop sidestepping Jesus and ask for his direction and understanding of what he sends you. A whisper from Jesus come in the form of a thought. Take the time to think about your thoughts. And your job, your free will, is to choose between a positive and a negative. If Jesus is positive, ask yourself, what would Jesus do? If you can't choose what a gentleman would do, and you don't know the difference between what a man and a gentleman does, and use this opposite. Usually what a man can't do and won't do, that's the first thing a gentleman can accomplish. That's why a man, a gentleman is the creature of two. Okay, he, and everything a man been, a gentleman is. He chooses to put the G in front of him. The gentleness, the mentalness, the mental and emotional, not the physical. Understand that. Stop being lost, gentlemen. Think about your journey. Everybody's journey is different, but acknowledge who you are. Acknowledge what's greater than a man. What's greater than a man is a gentleman. Again, be blessed. And I hope you get the message from this. I really do.